In the coastal savannas of West Africa, most farmers plant cassava in association with maize at the beginning of the main rainy season. Once the maize is harvested, the cassava continues to grow throughout the second shorter rainy season. On other fields, some farmers try to grow another maize crop during this second wet season. But with rainfall being unpredictable, farmers often risk harvesting little or no maize at all. Under continuous cultivation, and with nothing given back to the soil, soils have become exhausted and yields of the main season's crops have started to plummet. When our children returned from school, they found nothing to eat, so we women were obliged to travel to earn money to raise our children. As a consequence, our field work was delayed. But for farmers from Jakakope village in southern Togo, their misery had come to an end. Makuna is a legume that grows easily and that produces a lot of organic matter. This gives your soil a good structure and helps to retain soil water and nutrients. By fixing nitrogen from the air, Makuna also provides free nitrogen to the next crops. Grow Makuna for a few consecutive years to suppress troublesome weeds like Imperata and Striga. Without severe weed problems, grow Makuna in alternate years on the same field. On poor soils, Makuna can boost yields of the next maize and cassava crops for up to two years. Guarantee that you can reap the benefits of Makuna Establish a formal arrangement with the land owner. To revive highly degraded soils, grow Makuna. <laughs>